So look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I literally thought my final update was it. It was over. It was done. I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. Because now they've been federally charged with wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. If they are convicted, they face up to 20 years for each count of wire fraud and 10 years in prison for each count of money laundering. This is crazy how fat, how downhill their life went. They went from being on Oprah. Do you know how like dope you gotta be to be on Oprah on own sitting down talking with Oprah to this to now you're just being rung through the ringer? Man, I'm surprised all them other celebrities got away scot free. They must have flipped. They must have folded. They must have been snitching. They had to have snitched. They had to just let it fly because it's only them two being buried. And there were mad celebrity uh, endorsements. Um, and again, because I don't have the video proof, I can't say who it was. Um, but I can tell you, excuse me, if you if you if you go back, you'll be able to find them. Well, they've they've done their job of cleaning it up or whatever. But if you ask people that been in bent that were in there, they seen them people. They seen them. They seen what I seen. They seen what I seen. And um, uh, matter of fact, uh, I'll give I'll give one. One is um, I'm gonna just do it. One is the the lady that was in the game. Um, his uh his mom, his mom. Everybody knows the notable mom. That actress, she was in there. Uh, old girl from uh from Power, uh the uh Tyreek's mom. She she was she she came through a couple. She came through once. Um, I can't say she came through more than once, but she did come through once. Um, they had celebrity endorsements, and uh, I I don't know if they knew it was a scam. I don't know how much money they put in and got out. Like, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was bound to fail. The The well was running dry. They they started this. So for, for a little TLDR for you guys, they started it during COVID, all right, when everybody was getting the COVID checks. So everybody was just throwing the money in there. Uh, they conveniently made the amount of money 1400 per person. And your COVID check was $1,400. Like, think about that. Think about that. They wanted your whole check, your whole COVID check. If they would have done it and just did it a little bit lighter, it probably could have went on for way longer. Like, if they just did, like, five, dollars $600, it would have went on for a really long time without, without hearing a peep out of nobody. It wouldn't have broke down till. Man, it it wouldn't have broke down for a while, but because it was that large number, it was fourteen hundred. That was a real tall ask of people, and then they started letting people do like, oh, you guys can go like half. You and somebody can go half on a board on a board spot, you know, like all these crazy things. And I'm just like, y'all should have just anyway, anyway. It, it, needless to say, needless to say, Marlon and Lashonda. I know y'all probably gonna get y'all are definitely gonna get a divorce after this, but y'all are going to jail now. The, the wire fraud, and y'all know y'all did it. Money laundering, y'all know y'all y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to just plea plea. I'd I'd catch a plea if I was y'all. I'd catch a plea. I'd catch a plea because y'all are on your own videos. I'm into it. You know, y'all are on your own videos. Y'all are on numerous conference calls. Just own up to it. It's over for them. They're done. They're cooked. Man, uh, yeah, man. But I, I, I literally want to say my last video. I thought it was done. They were indicted in Texas. You know what I'm saying? They got to pay the money, and that was it. I thought it was over. And then the federal court, court in Texas was like, nah, nah. Uh, let me think. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That that story is that short. Um, 
uh, you know, I'll give you, I'll give y'all this, I'll give y'all this, and then I'll walk out. Um, so this is how this worked. <clears throat> the Moors allegedly uh, organized Vince payment scheme with playing boards that had eight positions, fire, uh, eight fire positions, four wind position, two earth position, and one water position. As it led, the player in the fire players in the fire position advanced on the board by paying at least fourteen hundred to the person in the water position and recruiting two new fire participants, at which point the cycle would repeat. In other words, eight new participants had to be recruited into the scheme for a single partic- single earlier participant to receive return on their initial investment. The Moors allegedly placed themselves and their family members in the water position on multiple board, multiple playing boards to receive payments from participants in the fire position and collected a substantial sum of some from participants' monthly user fees, which were required for participation uh, participation in bent. All right. So um they they misled people and told you you could get an 800 percent return guaranteed. Well, I, I had a feeling that was going on with the family. Um, and I, I'm so glad that the uh that justice.gov provided that. Um, that's what I read from. I, I, I'm not I, I had a feeling because I'm like, man, like there's no way more people, regular people aren't getting through these boards, but they were feeding themselves. They were literally becoming they were coming enticed with greed and were pushing themselves up to the top and to the front and to the forefront of each and every single last board. But with all that being said, uh, I really want to know you guys thoughts at this point in time. What do you all think? Uh. It's going to happen to them. Do you guys think they're going to go to jail? Do you guys think they're going to, uh, they're going to like plea out? Um, how much money do you guys think they're going to end up having to pay back in restitution to the, uh, to society from the federal crime? Um, and, uh, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you are a former victim of the bench scam, I would love to hear your story. Um, of what happened to you. I would love to hear that. And uh, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. Stay safe. And uh, don't fall for pyramid schemes.